at the back of washing machine there are two hoses one is the inlet hose and the other is the waste hose this is water inlet valve which is located a bit away from the sink but in your case you might have this valve underneath your sink at the end of this valve there is a 22 millimeter end cap if you have got an end cap remove it by turning it in the anti-clockwise direction now we can connect the inlet hose make sure your inlet hose has got a washer like this and it is sitting firmly at the center now put the hose's head onto this valve make sure it is completely at the center of the valve without any eccentricity and then start turning it in the clockwise direction until it is tight enough even though my valve has got a handle it is too tight to turn it using my hand so instead i use a pliers to turn it to open the valve for some valves you would need to use a screwdriver to open the valve simply make sure the handle is parallel to the flow of the water like in here and after opening the valve wait some time and if there is no leakage that means your connection is tight or sealed but if you find water dripping from this connection then you need to first try to make it tighter in order to assist you to tighten it easier you could use a high grip glove if you have tight it and it is still leaking then it is possible that your washer is damaged and you would need to replace it make sure at the side of your cabinet there is a hole so that you could pass the waste hose through this hole to get to underneath your sink if there is no hole then you need to make one and then pass through your waste hose to get to underneath your sink here you should have a waste hose connection and then simply connect your waste hose to this connection by pushing it in by wiggling the hose until it fits in completely to the connection if it don't fit it all the way in then the water still could leak from here now that we have connected both the hoses we can push back the washing machine all the way to the wall by design washing machines are pretty heavy and hard to move now you can plug in the power plug and ready to use your washing machine just as a precaution the first time when you're using your washing machine check that there are no leaks from the hoses that we have just connected i hope this video was useful if it was please don't forget to watch my other videos on my left and to subscribe to support my channel. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.